Hello and welcome to Where the Living Room Used to Be, a podcast about Rhode Island's music scene. All right, all right, five with Rich Lupo. Uh, what would you say is or was your favorite Rhode Island record store? I grew up in Boston, yeah, and in Reading. So, and I was a maniac record buyer, yeah, up there. But here, um, I went. To, well, it's, it's an age thing. I went to Lads. On Thayer Street. I don't know if, you ever, if anyone in the world remembers that. No, what was that place like? Um, what did what it was, was it a carrying? great place on on North Main Street, mm-hmm. but that that was a little bit. I just, I it was open for a while while I was at college, and I didn't think to go down there mm-hmm. and stuff. But I had the equivalent of that one on North Main Street. Was it there? It was in Boston, and you know, yeah. I forget the name of it, but that that's. Do you remember there was a there was a place on Main Street that anything. everybody used so it was the yes. best one. But because I was at Brown, I just walked right around the corner and on Fair Street was a, was a place called Lads. Yeah. And they just had they had the forty five. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you just go through and I, I was go digging through with that. I was were you looking for anything specific usually? No, just, just old discover. stuff. Old yeah. stuff. I found a slim I remember finding a slim Whitman. <laughs> Oh, wow. Single right. yeah. there, and that's like got to be in the late '60s. I mean, that, yeah. that's the kind of store I needed. You know? Yeah. Awesome. What is your favorite Rhode Island drink? <laughs> uh, define drink. Just anything. I mean, that that can be made here. It could be like Gansett or coffee milk or Dell's Yacht Club. It could be, you know, any of the new breweries, Full Proof or Ravenous or something or. Okay, Narragansett, yeah. circa 1967. Okay. Okay, Narragansett draft beer. Yeah. When I was younger. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, they're just how it was made back then. Like the, yeah. the well, maybe it was how I was made back then. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just the experience of drinking it it's at that age. In a seven ounce Pilsner glass, perfectly shaped. What I, I mean, I'm, I'm seeing one in my head as I say it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it was a local product and it was, you just couldn't beat it. And and, not, and the new Narragansett's great. And yeah. I had, that's the, my, my light beer of choice, which I, I don't really drink that much beer. Yeah. Um, but my light beer of choice is Narragansett light beer. Yeah. But, uh, and you hear it from old timers. There's, there's nothing like the, 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 the old Gansett's were fantastic. Yeah. And then, of course, any drink that you sell at at the Met is your favorite. The the sale that you're making at the Met, right, is your favorite the, drink. Yeah. The, the drink we're making now is my favorite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the one that I am the, selling to the, the customer the, at the show is my favorite the drink. Severely <laughs> overpriced yeah. drink made by a bartender who's overpouring by about two ounces. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, what is your favorite place in Rhode Island? It can be a city, a town. Place. It can be your club. It can be, you know. Over the last um, 20 years, it's developed into a couple of spots in Roger Williams Park. Yeah. Uh, I, I live across the street from Roger Williams Park, and I've been walking mm-hmm. the dogs there. I used to jog there when I was younger. Yeah. But I've been walking the dogs, and there are a couple of places that um, are very dear to me from like 20 years of being there with the uh, the dogs and yep. the wife, yep. but more with the dog. You know, so you go walk the dog. Kind of like peaceful, peacefulness. Yeah. In fact, um, my wife and I have even agreed that our ashes would be thrown. It's Some better. of them would be thrown in these spots, a couple of spots in the park. Yeah. Um. Feels weird to transition to this next question now. Then. <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> what is your favorite Rhode Island pizza? <laughs> I am a real snob. Um, Good, me too. Pizza. I'm a real pizza snob. And nothing in Rhode Island compares to the Pizzeria Regina in the North End. Ah, in yeah. my opinion. The original Pizzeria Regina yeah. in the North End. 
which I went to last year, and it wasn't as good as like like most things. Yeah, it wasn't as good as it had been. Yeah, um, but in Rhode Island, uh, it, it it was two guys. It was two guys from Italy in East Providence, which had uh, I think it was called Frankie and Johnny's as well. But that one that got sold, and so that's not it anymore. Mm-hmm. That's that's changed. That was at a pretty wild my favorite. Yeah. And, uh, I think, I mean, people, it doesn't get the good write-ups, but I think that the Pepe's, Pepe's Pizza, the, you know, New Haven is a great, great pizza home. And I think that one in, in Warwick War, does a, it comes pretty close. And, and yeah. Just that style. And, yeah. And, I'm with you, Rich. That's my favorite pizza is, uh, New Haven style pizza. But where, where are you from originally? I'm from, Outside of Worcester, Massachusetts. Yeah, I mean, I'm from Boston. I'm saying, I'm saying. Yeah, yep, I don't know. Be. There's some kind of kind of connection with that. But yeah, I dig that style. So I'm with you. Um, what is your favorite Rhode Island event? Be a, a music event that you're putting on, or just anything that kind of happens in the state, whatever. Well, I can I tell you what my all-time favorite Rhode Island event was. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. That that was. Oktoberfest put on by the Narragansett Brewing Company. Yeah. That, that was a long time ago. Yeah. They, they, where was that? Like, it was at, like on Cranston Street, around Cranston okay. Street. The, the like original where? brewery yeah. would have like an Oktoberfest day. And they just opened the parking lot and they'd have, you know, bratwurst and, and right. free beer. Yeah. And again, it's one of these things where it was a melting pot of Everybody in Rhode Island, very working class. Mm-hmm. And that'd be, it was like people just walking around and saying hi to people they didn't know. And it was just yeah. this wonderful event. And I don't mean like it was a big drunk. I mean, there was, there was free beer, but it was just a, just a cool, the whole state yeah. was just community yeah. that took place. And it was just so, you know, yeah. I just love that stuff. And roughly what year was that? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Early seventies. Yeah. I don't know when they started. 80. I don't know when they stopped doing it. Yeah, that's awesome. The old, the, 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 the old brewery did that. Yeah, like when I was, when that was around. Maybe the new one should, should try. We know BJ, so. If you want to talk to BJ, I'll talk to him. Yeah. And get it going. <laughs> Maybe there's some legalities that are problems, but I mean. <laughs> I'm sure he'll do it. Yeah. yeah, he should. It was, it was, I thought it was the greatest event. The world that I've been to in a while. Well, excellent. Thank you so much, Rich. I appreciate it. Was a and I could wait till it's in the middle of a was a two-time.
Of anxiety, offense, politics, retreats for informants. 